Hello and welcome to another unboxing video and this time I've decided to take inspiration from Ashens and use a sofa as the unboxing platform largely because all my other services in the house are covered in rubbish at the moment so what we're going to be unboxing today are two little emulating handhelds these are the as you'll see in a minute um, Basically, I love my Pokemon games. Um, I have nearly all of them in the series, but I'm at a point now where my old cartridges just, just don't work anymore. And I know I can change the batteries in them. I could get them fixed, etc. But I'm at a point where like, it's, just, it's, just, it's just cost prohibitive for me. And realistically, it'd be better if I had a way of transferring all of my old cartridge games and old console games, if possible, uh, into something that's a bit more portable, something that's a bit more digitally forward, something that I can kind of back up with really. So that's why I've been looking at emulating handhelds and the one that kind of struck out to me was the Retroid Pocket 2. And I didn't just get one of them, I got two of them. One for myself and one for my partner. So I'm going to unbox mine first. So mine I went with was the retro colour version. Let's just grab this box out of its little enclosure. Oh, it includes a HDMI cable. I actually didn't expect that. Useful to have though, because obviously this, uh, as you probably already guessed by the fact that there's a HDMI cable, can be connected to a computer, uh, sorry, a TV screen. Uh, it is only a 4 by 3 so it will look stretched on the screen, but anyway, it's neither here or there. So it says on the box, it says Game Market. 2.4 gigabyte Wi-Fi battle function. So if you've got two of these, they can actually connect together and use them for co-op or multiplayer games or Pokemon data transfers. 4,000 milliamp battery, and it's a 640 by 480 resolution screen, I believe. It says high resolution, I can't remember exactly what that is. You've got your color gradings here at the back. It tells you what color, color scheme you've got. Uh, this is just the kind of control layout. I will go for that in a second. Uh, this runs off an Android platform, so there's actually Android installed on a little micro computer that's inside. Uh, I believe it comes in Android 6.0, but I think you can upgrade it to 8.1, maybe 9. Um, I'm not really too worried about that at the moment. So here's a little sleeve. Oh, oh, I like unboxing things like that. A piece of Ah, that's a screen protector. Um, might add that on off camera. We have our instruction book, which I will obviously read in my own time. I'm not going to do that in this video. And our USB-C, yes, it's USB-C charging and transfer cable. So as you can see here, I went with the retro version, which looks a lot like the original uh, Game Boy in the UK that I had, which had this kind of purple button scheme and off-white greyish colour. We have two sticks, one being a quite pronounced uh, stick here, and then one that's quite small and actually um, flush to the console. This is a digital, so it feels very rigid. This one's a bit more softer. Uh, you've got a D-pad. Not the best D-pad in the world, not the worst, definitely a bit of click there. Oh, the X, Y and A, B buttons, yeah they're nice, they actually feel good, they've got a good click to them. Feel like the original Game Boy buttons if you ever press those, and those could be a bit squishy, these ones are actually a bit firmer which is nice. You've got your home, your start and your select, or select and start rather. At the top we have volume button, which I believe also can be used for the brightness when you press one of these buttons at the same time. Uh, your power button, Z and L, triggers which are at a slight angle, which again is nice to feel a decent click to them. Yep, definitely a click. Our headphone jack at the bottom and our card slot, which I believe we put, can put in a micro SD card up to 128 gig. 
So yeah, you can put an SD card up to 128 gig in it. Uh, it does include one. I'm gonna just try and see if I can find out the capacity, but I probably guess it's only gonna be a small included capacity. So I've managed to get the SD card out. It comes with a 32 gig in my console. Don't forget, again, I've got this from Joydex. I'll put a link in the description of where I got this from. Uh, so if you wanna get it yourself, you can do. There's a variety of colors like I've sort of already indicated. And Let's pop that back in. And I believe it has about four to six hours battery when fully charged, um, depending again what game you're playing. This can play everything, it played your Game Boy Advance, SNES, PSP, PS1, um, N64, and some Dreamcast, although I believe Dreamcast has more issues running on this than anything else. The console does also include some uh, included games they're included on the retroid application so this one's on android but also has the retroid app that you can install on it that includes some pre-installed games and we'll go for those possibly in a future video if anyone's interested or i can list them then in a description down below uh, i just thought i'd quickly mention that obviously you can also install your own emulators on this and uh, android applications but again we'll go through that possibly in the future it's a one gigabyte ram uh, I'll put all the specs on the side on the screen so you should be able to see them all roughly here because again there's quite a few specs to go through. Uh, it's not the most powerful unit in the world but for under, under £100, you know, what do you expect? Uh, but yeah, I've got two of them, I'll show you the other one and what other colour I got next. So, other one, exactly the same box, different colour uh, keyed on the back. So we'll just open this up. Another HMI cable was included, so I've got two of them, which is again unexpected because didn't say anything about including one when I ordered it. So this one here is a bit more nostalgic for another reason. So this is my partner's, and this is the transparent grape, they call it. Uh, it's actually more of a purple, but they call it grape. Uh, this actually is very close to the uh, Game Boy Advance I used to have. Game Boy Advance I used to have was a transparent purple. Um, not quite as deep as this purple, but close enough. Uh, got coloured buttons this time. Other than that, obviously it's exactly the same unit. Uh, the screen protector has come off on this one. Uh, mine, mine has got a factory screen protector on, this one hasn't. So this one, um, I'm guessing it just fell off uh, at some point in packaging. Uh, that's not too much of a concern though, because again, we're either going to add the one that's included or not bother. I don't really care for the kind of price of this unit. You know, if it gets scratched, if it gets scratched up. But yeah, these are two next to each other. And if anyone's interested, I can show them both working together in a follow-up video. Once we've got some games, uh, some ROMs installed on it, and show you the operating system and such. So thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe if you have any queries or questions. Always leave them down in the comment box below. And I will see you again soon. Goodbye.